Hello my lovelies, my name is Natasha, also known as Nourish Natasha. I'm here to do your Pisces full moon tarot reading. I have my lovely assistant Fozzie right here, you can kind of see him on the pillow, it's my, my the love of my life, my pupper, my little rescue pup Fozzie. Um, I'm really excited, I'm a Pisces in case you guys don't know, and I got a new deck, and I'm really excited to use it, because guess what, it's a Halloween tarot deck. I'm so excited, this Pisces full moon is the harvest moon. Um, yeah, it is Virgo season and a Pisces full moon. So Virgo sun, Pisces moon. I am a Pisces sun, Virgo moon. So I'm very, very excited. Um, have you been having strange dreams lately? Have you been having nightmares? Have you been just all up in your feels? Have you been feeling this feeling in your gut, this intuition? And you're just like, what's going on? Well, let me tell you, it's the Pisces full moon. Pisces, we rule dreams. Um, we also do, uh, our ruling planet is Neptune, but we're often associated with the moon. Um, our tarot card that we represent in tarot is the moon. Um, so there's just a lot of, a lot of energy, a lot of moon energy, a lot of Pisces energy. Um, this full moon is all about tapping into those dreams. Again, the moon card in tarot is tapping into that subconscious, that like, you know, the dream world and trying to figure out what it means. What is the, I feel that like Oprah meme where she's like, what is the truth? Like, what is the truth behind the dreams? What is the truth behind the emotions? Using our dreams and our emotions as a tool to kind of get closer to our goals. Um, we have to take those dreams and set practical goals around those dreams to make them reality. And we have to listen to our emotions because our emotions are our intuition trying to tell us something. So that's what the focus is. Um, I did, of course, I have a yoga class for this full moon. The affirmations that we use were, as I take practical steps, my dreams become reality, my dreams take shape, and I acknowledge my emotions and understand the meaning behind them. So if you'd like to do the yoga class, I'll put a link in the description box. I highly recommend. So we did in the yoga class, we charged a Labradorite crystal. I have it right here. I just got done filming the yoga. So this crystal is charged and ready to go. We charged it with some third eye chakra energy and some dream energy. So if you'd like to do that, it is in my yoga class for the full moon in Pisces. So I'm going to keep that here with us. I also have a sweet dreams candle that I got from home goods. Can't get the tag off. So I don't know why they do that. They always put the tag like really obnoxiously and you can't get it off. So I have a sweet dreams candle. So I will be lighting that as well, just to give us those sweet dream energy. It's lavender scent. So you can definitely maybe use some lavender in your practice. And then once you've charged the crystal, you can place it underneath your pillow or in your pillowcase is what I do. And hopefully it'll give us some good dreams because they're, they've been wild lately. Like, I don't know about you guys, but they've been wild. So yeah, we're going to tap into that dream energy, figure out what's going on behind the subconscious and full moons are time to release. So full moons, sorry, I kicked my desk. <laughs> um, full moons are a time of releasing. You can use a full moon to manifest, um, but it's up to you. I, I prefer to use them for releasing. That's what they're for, but you can take that energy and for sure manifest. But what we're going to do is we are going to manifest by releasing. So we're going to release our limiting beliefs around these dreams. We're going to release any negative emotions that maybe we're holding on to for some reason around these dreams so we can manifest them into reality. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Pisces in the body rules the feet, the pineal gland, which is the gland that is referred to as the third eye. It's also our gland that produces melatonin and basically gives us dreams. So we rule that we're very dreamy as Pisces, but we have to come back down to earth, right? Like it's Virgo season, we can have these fantastical dreams, but we have to bring it back down to reality somehow. So that's what this full moon is all about. And again, there are gonna be a lot of emotions, and just remember to trust your intuition. So all that being said, let's get started on this reading. So again, I'm using the Halloween um, tarot. This is Judgments hanging out at the bottom of the deck. We pulled that in the last reading um, for the Virgo New Moon, but I love it. I'll put the links in the description box. I did get it from Amazon. Um, it's absolutely like, this is going to be my new favorite deck. Like I'm obsessed. I also, for the Oracle deck, I'm going to be using the Halloween Oracle because of course it's spooky season. I'll be using these for probably the next two readings. Um, I've had this one for a while, but again, I also got it from Amazon and it, it is also absolutely beautiful. Like the artwork is just like amazing. So we're going to, Fuzzy, you can protect that Halloween Oracle for me while we, we shuffle. So as I shuffle, I just want you to breathe. I want you to maybe think about any dreams that you've been having or that big dream. What's that big dream? Your dream life, your goals, your, you know, that thing that you've wanted for so long. Just visualize it and fill yourself up with that feeling of what would it be to live my dream life? 
What does it feel like? What does it look like? What are the little details? I'll do one more here and then we'll shuffle the Oracle deck. This deck is ginormous and I have baby hands, so I'm going to do my best. <laughs> and it's so cute. Look at the back, the little Halloween stuff. I love it. And just breathe here. Take a few deep breaths. Tap into your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? into the collective energy. There and one more and then I'll pull some cards. All right, so my friends, I'm just going to set this one right here. Take a deep breath with me. Big inhale in through the nose. Take up space and open mouth exhale. Let's cut the deck. All right, let's see what we got. Again, judgment was hanging out at the bottom of the deck. We had it in our last reading, and here it is again. First card, first card that's coming out. This is crazy, guys. There's like, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, my friends. These are cards, the collective energy is strong. These are cards we've been pulling for the past few readings. I love it. He was hanging out at the bottom of the deck. So it's the two of ghosts. I'm going to have to figure out because so instead of like pentacles, wands, um, cups, and swords, it, it's different Halloween themes. So I'm going to see what the ghosts are. I'm not sure. I want to say the ghosts are swords because I think the pumpkins are pentacles. So I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to show you what we got here and then we're going to go over it. All right. So I figured it out. So the ghosts are cups. And this card, the Two of Cups, also has been stalking me. I pulled it yesterday. So we have here Judgment. And I love it because it looks like a Dracula type guy. And we have the moon kind of peeking over there. We have King of Pumpkins, so King of Pentacles. We have the Fool, which if you remember, we pulled that. We pulled Judgment and we also pulled the Fool. In our last reading for the new moon in Virgo, we have the Hanged Man who has been stalking us. Five of Ghosts, so Five of Cups, and The Magician, which I love. This is, we love The Magician. So let's talk about these cards. All right, my lovelies, let's talk about it. So I really love this reading, honestly. Um, I think it's it's very kind of clear what the message is here. And again, some of these cards have been stalking us for a while. Judgment, The Fool, The Hanged Man, these are cards that have been repeating in our past few readings. So for Judgment, this was the first card we pulled in the last reading as well. So I think that's, again, this is a reminder. Judgment, um, if you remember from the last reading, it dep was depicted as this cicada or a moth, like coming out of its cocoon and living its true purpose. Like it's evolving, it's coming into this next step, this new state of being. And specifically in this card, in this deck, um, it's actually crazy. It says on the card, I just realized. So you can also see the moon. He's kind of creeping up in the corner, which again, this is our full moon. The moon card is Pisces. And then if you can see on the bottom left corner, it says awaken sleeper, which I think is interesting and rise. And it's, it's basically you're rising out of the dream and you're making it reality. That's what I'm picking up here is you know, we're coming to our full purpose. We're coming to that dream life as it's supposed to be. It's, it's already ours. We just have to, we have to w wake up. We have to wake up and claim it. Um, and how do we do that? We tap into the King of Pentacles energy. So the King of Pentacles, let me just, it's hard to do anything with these nails. King of Pentacles or the King of Pumpkins in this deck. King of Earth. Um, he's a boss. He is, knows his worth he knows his wealth he knows his abundance like he's um kind of the baby card almost to the emperor i think king of wands is more baby card to the emperor but all the kings they're this boss energy this authority energy you 
um, have to be the authority in your life, the authority, because again, um, we're, you're in your head, you're in your dreams. The king of pentacles, the king of pumpkins is reminding us to come back down to earth and bring these dreams to reality, to the material world, to the tangible world. You have to awaken, rise in that judgment card, and you have to bring it to reality because your dreams are just like, it's, it can't hang out in your mind forever. Like you have this huge goal, this big dream, this thing that you've been just waiting on forever. You know you want it, so you got to bring it into reality and go out and take it because you're a boss, because you deserve it. Um, this is also Earth energy. So again, Virgo, we're in Virgo season. Like, what do Virgos do? They they organize their life. They schedule everything. They're very grounded. They have, like, again, they have that set in, like, it's in the real world. It's, like, set a schedule because, again, we're going to take those dreams, that, that higher power purpose higher self favorite self that feels almost out of reach because like like oh my gosh I want to be this you can be that you just have to wake up and take it <laughs> like you have to go grab it you have to go get it so that's what I'm feeling here and guess what if you can do that if you can do that we have the full again new journey we pulled this in the last reading this is your new journey you have to take the leap though you have to pull yourself out of this this not living your purpose, not living your dreams, this this fear-based, scarcity-based mindset, this, oh, I, I'm not gonna do that, it's too scary. I have this dream, it's a huge dream, it's something I've always wanted, but I'm afraid. You have to pull yourself out of that, out of that dream. Bring yourself into reality. Remember that you are a boss, you are amazing, you are the king or queen or whatever gender, but again, that like boss energy. And you can do it and you're going to have this new journey. And you can see here too, the, the moon is here and he's like smiling at you. Like it's a kind of a theme through the judgment and the fool is the moon kind of hanging out there. And you're going to start a new path, but you have to take that leap. You have to wake up and you have to grab it. And I don't know, I like he's a little clown. I like it's super cute. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. So after the fool, we have the hanged man. Now we've had the hanged man before and the hanged man is right under judgment and i feel like the hanged man in this reading because it's right below judgment and again the judgment card is like you have to wake up you have to rise you've been this is where we've been this energy is where we've been i talked about it on the last call i've talked about it on the call sorry i'm i do calls with my clients i talked about this on the last reading and the one before that we have been in the hanged man energy this is pause. This is limbo. This is purgatory. This is taking a rest because we need it. A, we're burnt out. And because it's just the time to rest. It is the time to rest. Um, this is the cocoon. And again, remember, in the other deck, in the last reading, in Judgment, it was a moth or a cicada coming out of its cocoon, out of its shell. The hanged man is the cocoon. The hanged man is a shell. You got to turn into a pile of goo in your cocoon and rest before you can turn into that butterfly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the reason, again, if you are stuck in this, you're stuck in this hanged man energy, it is for a reason. You need to you need to stay there and figure, figure it out. The hanged man is there, energy is there for a reason. Like it's not something you can force your way out of. You have to hang out there. And then when it's time, you wake up, you go grab those dreams, but you get, you have to process through what you gotta process through. You have to become goo in that cocoon and process through the goo. What is the goo? Five of ghosts, five of cups. The goo is, so in traditional tarot in a rider weight deck, five of cups is like this dude and he's looking at these three cups that are spilt and knocked over and he's like super sad, he's like hunched over, looking at these three cups that like didn't work out. But right behind him, he has two cups waiting for him, full and shiny and golden. But again, you can see this little pumpkin man, he's like, he's like, oh man, my cup spilled. Man, what am I supposed to do with this? And the reason why you're stuck in this hanged man energy is because you're thinking about those cups that spilled. Thinking about maybe those cups were dreams that didn't work out. Cups are emotion. Cups are dreams. It's again, cups are the suit of water in the tarot. This is this, you know, you have these three, might, it might be three for some people. It might be these three specific like overturned cups that just like did not work out. Or it doesn't have to be three. That's just the, something I'm picking up. These things that didn't work out, it could be relationships, it could be jobs, it could be grief. Five of Cups is also a card of grief. Um, you know, you lost something. You lost three cups or a couple cups or whatever. You lost some cups, they spilt, you're sad, and it's okay. But again, we have to grieve. We have to grieve to move forward. The grief is the hanged man. The grief and the healing and the processing is the hanged man. And that's why you're there is because you lost some cups 
and that's okay we all lose cups we're human we all have loss but you're just hung up on these cups and it's okay because I get it too I get hung up on the stuff I've lost we have to process through it we have to I always cue practice non-judgment non-attachment why again tapping into those emotions why does this make me so upset why am I grieving how can I process through the five stages of grief and come out the other side as the magician? And again, the two of ghosts, so the two of cups was at the bottom of the deck. So we have right after the five of cups, we have the magician. And then the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Because guess what? Again, in the five of cups in the traditional deck, there's two cups right behind you that are full and full of love. And in two of cups is the baby card to the lovers. So in traditionally, it's like two people like exchanging cups and they're happy. And it could be a new romantic interest or a new friendship. It doesn't have to be, but it's just new happiness. You got two cups waiting for you, two golden cups. I have a hair in my eye, sorry. Two golden cups behind you that if you just process through the grief of losing these three cups, you can turn around. Wow, there they are. Wow, I have these two cups that have been waiting for me. And how do we do that is the magician. The magician is the card of alchemy. The magician is the card of just doing it and <clears throat> pulling the rabbit out of the hat you got it the rabbit's there you just got to pull it out in traditional tarot the magician is a dude he has a table and he has every suit of the tarot on that table you have all the tools you need to process through this you have all the tools you need to get those two cups that are waiting for you like you just need to work through it you need to alchemize that grief alchemize the sadness alchemize those negative emotions process through them i'm not saying i don't believe in toxic positivity i believe in feeling your feelings crying healing there's five stages of grief and they 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 just not it's not like a smooth process where you just go through all five they come back they're like you know grief is a never-ending thing um i lost my father i totally understand that grief doesn't go away but you can heal you can process it <clears throat> So maybe the magician is, uh, again, it's like, you know, healing. Alchemizing those feelings into healing and alchemizing the emotions into healing. And guess what? The healing hurts. <clears throat> the healing hurts just as bad, if not worse, than going through it because you have to feel all those things and you have to process through them. But if we can, we can turn from that hanged man, from that goo, and from our three cups that are spilt into a butterfly and pick those two cups up that are behind us that have been waiting for us this whole time if we can do that if we can take the magician energy use the tools that we have around us and heal and alchemize so i love it i love this reading i think i don't know i i just oh i don't know i don't i got chills like i just i love it um all right so we are gonna pull some oracle cards now and see what else they got for us so take a deep breath for me Big inhale in and open mouth, exhale. All right, let's see what this Halloween Oracle has for us. Ooh. This is, I haven't used this deck in a really long time and I'm like, ooh, I love it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let me pull one more. This is amazing, guys. I love I love it. Okay, let me turn this around so you guys can see what I see. <clears throat> All right, so here's what I pulled from the Halloween Oracle. So I believe, I, I've never heard this word before, but barmbrack. I think it's some kind of pumpkin bread, sweetness and synergy, vampire, emotional intelligence. And guess what? She's holding a golden cup, I'm just saying. And the moon's behind her, just saying. Um, skull of flowers, so coming through the ashes. I love that. And Skull of Stars, infinite possibilities. Like if this isn't a Pisces card, I don't know what is. So they're beautiful. We love them. Now let's talk about it. All right. So I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love this deck. So the first one I pulled was Barmbrack. Again, I think it's some kind of pumpkin bread because there's like pumpkins behind it and like a bread. Um, sweetness and Synergy. So I think that's just reminding us to me what I'm picking up is self-compassion, being sweet to yourself through this process because it's hard it's hard to heal your grief and it's hard to heal the loss whatever it is that you lost um but if you're sweet to yourself if you practice self-compassion and you tap into that the synergy the synchronicity is like this pisces like flowy energy i think that's where we heal um and remembering that again the healing process is hard 
there's going to be a lot of not sweetness but if we can bring ourselves back to this place and again the next card if i can pick it up because these dang nails is emotional intelligence and cups is the suit of emotion this is water she's also holding a golden cup this is vampire emotional intelligence she has the full moon behind her using emotional intelligence what did oh my gosh what did the mantra for our yoga class is i acknowledge my emotions and um use them basically to figure out like what's the meaning i use them to guide me i use them to uncover what's the real meaning here while of course practicing sweetness to myself because i'm human i'm going to feel emotions i'm going to be upset i'm going to be angry i'm going to be sad i'm going to be grieving but if i can practice this balance of synergy this balance of of sweetness and emotional intelligence and knowing that there's nothing wrong with my emotions giving myself a safe space to feel those things uh, giving myself permission to feel those things, acknowledging that they're there, because guess what? <laughs> the reason why you're stuck in that hanged man energy is because you're in the five of five of ghosts, five of cups, is you're just like, you're just ignoring the actual emotions that you have to process through. You're just too focused on like what you've lost and you just don't want to feel. You don't want to feel. Um, yeah, and then right after that, if we can use this energy and process through it, we have two skulls, skull of flowers and skull of stars, which is creating through the ashes. So again, creating through that death, that grief, that whatever you lost and infinite possibilities. If you can do that, you have infinite possibilities. The infinite possibilities is the dreams. The infinite possibilities is whatever you've ever dreamt of, whatever you ever want. Like, but we have to process through the ashes. We have to get through that hanged man energy, get through that five of ghosts, five of cups energy into the magician. The magician is infinite possibilities. This is right on top of the magician. The magician is infinite possibilities. Like you can create infinite possibilities, create through the ashes. The magician is the card of creation. You just have to use the tools that were given to you, that you have, that you've always had inside of you. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, it's going to take a lot of emotional intelligence. It's going to take, I feel like this sweetness and synergy, it's like a self-care card, honestly. It's like, make yourself some bread. Eat some bread. Feel good. Feel sweet. Be sweet towards yourself. No one else is going to do it for you while you're going through all this crap. Be sweet to yourself as you're processing through these emotions. And then you're going to come out of the ashes. Maybe that's why you're, it's right over the hanged man, that sweetness and synergy Brambrack card is right over the hanged man and right over judgment. Maybe that's why you're stuck is because you're not doing that. You're just beating yourself up about all the things that you've lost. How, who does that help? No one. Kicking yourself when you're down helps nobody. So it's time to practice some sweetness, my friends, and practice some emotional intelligence. Create through the ashes and look at all the infinite possibilities you have. I'm obsessed with this reading. I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with these cards. <laughs> So I'm about it. I hope you guys are about it. This is a very positive reading. Again, we have to process through our crap. We have to process through it. And our dreams and our emotions are a tool on how to do that. This Pisces full moon is going to bring up all those, all those cups that you lost. That's why we're feeling some type of ways because it's bringing up all this like stuff that we're still holding on to. We gotta let it go, my friends. We gotta let it go so we can tap into that magician energy and find those two cups that are behind us somewhere and have that that happiness, that new happiness, the new creation through the ashes and the new possibilities. So I'm feeling it. I don't know. I really like this reading. It just feels feels good to me. It feels warm. It feels maybe it's because I have the candle going and like that brum brack card with like the warm pumpkin bread. I'm about it. I'm just feeling the Halloween vibes. And also right after the Pisces full moon, we have the autumn equinox. So our Maybon, our harvest, a uh, transition from summer into fall. And this is the transition from light to dark. This is, we're going into, everything's dying. That's what this celebration is for, is being grateful for what we have, what the summer brought us. And now it's time for it to die. Something's got to die here. I'm surprised we didn't pull the death card. I'm like, let me just look. Is the death card lingering anywhere? No? Okay, ooh, the moon is kind of hanging out <laughs> in the tarot deck. Um, yeah, that's definitely what I'm picking up here. So I will see you guys for the yoga class, hopefully. And I'm also going to upload a guided, just gentle meditation um, and yoga for the autumn equinox just to have a little something for that. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know your thoughts. If you... If anything came up for you, if this resonated with you, and I'll see you next time.